Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and welcome to a very silent menu screen. It's just completely quiet. <laughs> welcome to a first look of The Good Life. Uh, I've seen some reviews for this game and this is probably gonna remain a first look if you know what I mean. <laughs> but the reason why I wanted to check this out is because it's made by a guy named Sweary. And it's a name that I hear about very often. He's a creator of games like Deadly Premonition, D4, or The Missing. And as I understand it, the games he make are pretty much universally known as being sort of weird in some way. And so I wanted to experience that weirdness for myself is pretty much why we're here today. I don't know too much about the story though. Something about photographers in an English town and then there's cats and stuff. So yeah, let's check this out. One day, by a stroke of luck, a poor orphan named Dick Whittington found himself a cat. The two became close, and the cat proved very useful, working awfully hard for him. Before long, Whittington came to treasure the cat as an irreplaceable ally. And, sure enough, after he offered the cat to a merchant ship, Whittington suddenly acquired a massive fortune. This changed Whittington's life forever. But, Whittington didn't simply use that fortune for his own benefit. He got to keep the cat? He paid it back to the many people who had helped him over the years. Such philanthropy, coupled with his honest character, led him to marrying a wonderful wife. In time, he was even elected Lord Mayor of London. This is the story of Dick Whittington and his cat, one every good Brit knows well. Really? However, whatever happened to the cat once it had brought good old Whittington all his copper and joy, you ask? Well, nobody seems to know. Not even Dick Whittington himself. There we go, there's a cat. I'm sold. Show me the cat. <laughs> Prologue, Rainy Woods. Is that a real story though, Dick Whittington? I have no clue. Wait, this is a pre-rendered cutscene and there's Poppin on the trees. <laughs> Oh, this looks kind of rough here. Yeah, maybe we should lower our expectations a little bit. I think this game is probably kind of budgeted. Oh, okay, this looks much better. Well, this is it. Rainy Woods. The way you'd want to come here. They used to call it the happiest town in the world. But that was over 30 years ago. Now I hear it's just fallen to bats and full of weirdos. If I sightseeing you're after, you'd be better off heading somewhere like Windermere or Grassmere. To eat your own, I suppose. Enjoy your holiday then. Whoa, I look hot. What a goddamn hellhole. This is Naomi Haywood, a photographer from New York. Now, why would someone like Naomi come to this far-flung corner of England? Because of all the interesting things to photograph, of course. That's the official line, anyway. Her true reasons lie elsewhere. Really? A certain client has asked Naomi to investigate a secret. And she's hoping this job will help her escape a colossal mountain of debt. Who is this client? Well, that'll become clear soon enough. Let's just see what happens next, shall we? Well then, are you ready? Yeah! Ah! Don't they have <laughs> 
control around here? <laughs> you got any idea how much these sunglasses cost? Goddamn hellhole. Don't just touch it with your hands, ew. It's nasty. Welcome to Rainy Woods. This is the happiest town in the world. We're delighted to have you here. Okay, that sounds super fishy. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Hayward. I'm Elizabeth Dickens. I've been waiting for you ever since I received word that you'd be arriving in our town today. Tch, the master manipulator strike again. I beg your pardon? I wasn't talking to you, girl. What? Uh, girl? Anyway, girl, you know where I can find a place to stay around here? Somewhere that's got a clean tub, Wi-Fi, and room service? Don't you worry, Miss Hayward. I've got your house all sorted for you. My house? That's right. No room service, I'm afraid, but it does have a lovely garden. You can use the internet there, too. Hey, if you think you can rip me off, you're barking up the wrong tree. Dude, why are you being so rude, Naomi? She's trying to help you, man. What? Oh, my. Rip you off? Oh, you're a funny one, Miss Hayward. The house is a gift to you from our town. P permanently A gift? Yes, a gift. Just what are you scheming, huh? <laughs> scheming? Why nothing at all, of course. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would you give a free house to someone you don't even know? This is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. We welcome everyone who comes to visit us here. What's more, I hear that you'll be staying with us for quite some time. In which case, it's only proper that you get your own house to rest in that night, now isn't it? But still... Ah, oh, that's right. I've also already had your belongings collected from Town Hall and delivered to the house. How about heading there now so you can get yourself sorted? I'm sure you'll love it. <sighs> you know, you're pushier than I thought. <laughs> well, I am the one in charge of our Town Hall. Anyway, as I said before, welcome to Rainy Hoods. This is the happiest town in the world. Please accept my heartfelt welcome and make yourself at home. Okay, I get the lady was fishy, but Naomi's being so suspicious of everything. She's a little bit rude, isn't she? Destination, head towards it to proceed with the story. Yeah, this is actually pretty open, right? We've got like an actual timer and a map and oh my God, the clock is like, going in real time. Goodness. Home is where you make it. Wow, Naomi's got like two moles on the side of her eyes. Hmm. Elizabeth Dickens, huh? Help me out here. Hey, girl. You know what? I changed my mind. Where's the nearest hotel? Oh my, is something the matter? I just can't get over how fishy this is. You're really gonna give away a house to someone you don't even know? <laughs> is that really so out of the ordinary? Yes. <laughs> this is the happiest town in the world after all. Still, doesn't feel right to me. Happiness is something that travels from person to person. So whatever you do for someone else will always find its way back to you. You sound like a crazy person. <laughs> You're being rude. Oh my, I'm sure you'll come to understand what I mean eventually. Maybe it's because she's from New York and something something big city attitude in small town. Got some nice posters around. Whitney plays survival horror games. Okay, cool. Is that like an ad for a Let's Play channel? <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Let's go to the little red dot. A free house. Not even just... Temporarily, right? It, it sounds like she wants to gift me the house entirely. Happiest place on earth, my ass. There's gotta be something wrong here. <gasps> Can we take a picture of that? Oh my god. What? It just disappeared. Okay. Coarse beetle. A beetle with a coarse texture. Seems like it might taste bitter. Can be used in concoctions. <laughs> You're gonna eat it or what? <laughs> <gasps> okay. Oh, okay. So I can take out my camera. Hi! Ah! 
precious camera standard lens. Hot words. Start a flamingo at home and check the hot words. Okay. Oh, we can see our last photos. Cool. Can we only take 64 photos? My gosh. This is not a digital camera. We've got like an actual film or something, or maybe I just don't have enough storage. All right. Town hall? <laughs> that animation for being tired, holy crap. Wow, this is like a plot of land. This is not just a house. Oh, it's labeled and everything. Naomi's house. I'm sure you'll love it. She's got some nerve. It's all dirty, the garden's a mess. This place is even more of a dump than I expected it to be. And it's not even close to the town. I'm in the backwoods within the backwoods. This is why you can never trust anyone who gives you something for free. But I guess on the bright side, it'll give me total privacy. <laughs> Considering the reasons I came out here to this godforsaken place, it might be the perfect hideout. This woman, come on man, it's free! Seriously? Oh, well, at least I have a computer. It's pretty old. <laughs> Got a little stool. I mean, it's better than nothing. I've got a potato! And potato seeds that can go in the garden. Yeah, let's cook some buttered toast! Yeah, because we're in freaking England. Sautéed red fox. I can't make anything, can I? I don't have bread. I don't have anything! Eating food repeatedly at cafes and pubs will allow you to learn how they're supposed to taste. Oh, once you have a recipe, you can cook it yourself. Oh, interesting. Okay. They've even left me with some paintings and stuff. That's pretty cool. Sure. I feel so refreshed. Good. Beauty care. Time for some beauty care. Beauty care complete! <laughs> Whatever I did. It's like a sim. If you look on the top left there, there's like hearts and... I don't know, hunger levels and all that. So much going on. Oh, luxury designer t-shirt. Fast fashion pants. I'm totally like a big city snob. That's what I am. Hmm. This fireplace looks suspicious. <laughs> so damn slow. First things first, I need to check and see if my client sent me anything. Is that in Flamingo? Oh my god, this is like Windows 98! Magic and Mushrooms from Rainy Woods Info Hub. Nice to see you! To see you nice from the Rainy Woods Info Hub. Do you know the witch's forest on the west side of town? Some people say that an honest-to-goodness witch lives deep inside. But could such a spine-tingling rumor be true? Well, this is Rainy Woods, a town full of happiness where anything can happen. And if you're not spellbound by tales of witches and witchcraft, the forest is also a great place to try mushroom picking. We promise it's more fun than that weird teacher you had in secondary school made it sound. So throw on your anorak and give it a go. But pick responsibly, eating random mushrooms could lead to death, basically. <laughs> Have a good life. Oh, wow. The moment I open the email, I am assumed to have agreed to the terms and conditions and privacy policy of the Rainy Woods Info Hub. <laughs> Actually, can I move my mouse? No, like, I'm trying to move- I wanted to click on this. Oh, I can, I can! Oh, but I can't click on it, though. <laughs> I can't click on it! Okay, can I not move the mouse with the controller? Maybe not. Okay, well... Cool. You can also display it in Japanese if you want. <laughs> of pubs and pies. Something about food. Mushroom guide. Go to Mushroom and Evans. They've got mushrooms and they know how to cook it. There's a pub. Name one English town that doesn't have a great British pub. We bet you can't. Even in the middle of nowhere, Rainy Woods is no different. 
1977 will set you right with fresh ale, ice-cold lagers, and hearty stouts. You should've been drink, man. Okay. Account registered, Flamingo. Dear Naomi Hayward, This is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. <laughs> These names are also, like, British, man. I'm sure you've already heard about the new photo-sharing service that's taken the world by storm, Flamingo. You can make money through advertisement fees paid up by sponsors based on the number of emokes you earn. I thought it might help you pay off a little of your debt, so I made an account for you. Okay. Cool, thanks. Can I give you my photo of the mouse? I've got 5,000 or 500 pounds on me. Dear Naomi, this is Lucy Turner. If you're reading this, you must have made it to Rainy Woods. Even though we're checking our email right now, which can be checked anywhere with an internet connection. <laughs> so exactly what sort of place is the happiest town in the world? I'm sure it must be like stepping inside a fairy tale. I wish I could go see for myself. Anyway. You need to go figure out why people call this place the happiest town in the world. There is a secret here and you gotta bring it to light. Currently, you owe our company 30 million pounds. That's so much. I couldn't believe my ears the first time I heard about it. But don't worry, this is your chance to make that astronomical debt disappear in the blink of an eye. During your stay in town, we here at Morning Bell News will send you a series of job requests. We'll pay you handsomely for each job, so be sure to use a portion of your profits to pay off your debt. By the time you complete all the jobs, I'm sure you'll have managed to pay off 30 million pounds. And of course, if you don't, you can just show us the town secrets and we'll pay you even more. Wow. Okay. Oh, Flamingo, huh? I hate apps like this, but if it'll help me make money off my photos, then I might as well check it out. Yeah, let's upload a picture of the rat. The mouse. Now uploading. Even the internet out here is prehistoric. This is why I hate the boonies. If I sit and wait for this to finish uploading, I'll be here until the sun goes down. Let's go check out some other stuff in town. Naomi's a professional photographer. If you find any subjects worth photographing, don't be afraid to snap a few shots. Uh-huh, I figured it out already. LT and R, okay. In camera mode, you'll see certain objects to see if they're in frame. Okay. On Flamingo, there will always be a group of hot words listed with hashtags that can help you earn the most emokes possible. Try to make each picture incorporate as many hot words as possible in order to earn the most emokes. Hot words reset at midnight on Mondays and Thursdays, so don't forget to upload your photos before that happens. It is currently Saturday. Wow, it feels like the, the Sims element is quite in depth. So we have yummy shroom food, yummy toast, service vehicles, bunnies, portraits. Let's take a picture of a random person. Okay. Am I sparkling because I did beauty care? <laughs> this is kind of weird already to begin with. I like it though, it's like a good kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Can we plant the potato seeds? Yeah. The potato seeds. I've got Dead Bull with me. The caffeinated beverage that has the power to bring you right back to life. <laughs> I'm living here, man. I'm not just like... It feels like I'm immigrating here. I'm just planting my own garden now. One more? Vegetable bud? Something about yummy shroom food. If I can take a picture of a plate of mushroom food, how do I see the hot words easily? Maybe there is a... Oh, okay. Secrets of the happiest town in the world. Main quest. Uncover the secrets in this town. I guess right now we're just chilling out and walking around and learning about town. Okay. Can we see the map anywhere? Sandy Caterpillar. It's gotta be a map. Like bigger than the mini map. Oh, there's a jump button. Oh my god. Hey. Whoop de doo, whoop de doo. <laughs> K. 
camera. I can change lenses too. Precious camera. The one thing I've been able to save despite all I lost due to my debt. It's filled with precious memories and takes photos with a sepia tone. Okay. Well, it's a nice town. Maybe I can only upload one photo to... Flamingo every day. <laughs> William's house. Hi, William. I'm your new neighbor, kind of. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in your house. Is this okay? Well, I'm trying to uncover someone's secrets, right? The town secrets, so I've got to find stuff. Dude, I'm sparkling. It's gotta be the beauty care. Doesn't seem like there's anything interesting in William's house, though. And most of it is locked. Okay, William. I'm on to you, though. I know you're hiding something. I'll uncover it. Don't you worry. You escape my wrath for now. Okay. <laughs> Take a picture of William's license plate, just in case. Ah, I'm also looking for a service vehicle, right? For Flamingo. Ooh, I can steal William's garden stuff? Butterflies. Butterfly wing. Okay. Wow, we're really far removed from town. Yeah, like this whole area is just not even in the same region. Oh, come on. Come on, Naomi. Do we have to go all the way back around? Really? Okay. <laughs> the way she gets super tired. Guessing she doesn't exercise that often. Steal all that. Butterfly wings. Hello? Who is this? It's my flowers now. <laughs> Why? McAvoy construction. Yes. Oh, so like here? Maybe I can meet somebody here. Or is everything closed on Saturday? Yeah, they had hours, right? But the hours was what? 7 to 7? What were the days? No, every day. Every day. You little rat. Is this a service vehicle? Something up there. Where is everybody? There's nobody in this town. Sage. I'm back in town center. Emma! Macaulay. How are you? Um, who are you? Hey. Uh, I'm Naomi Hayward, a photographer from New York. A photographer? Um, okay. I'm Emma Macaulay. <laughs> My grandpa's the vicar. Okay. Uh, you're... Emma? It's me, Emma. Clay's the one who likes to wear hats. And Charlotte never goes up with her, her bunny. Other people? Oh god, they're just wandering around here. Okay. Where is the shop owner? Oh, Virginia Yeats. Oh. I'm Virginia Yeats. I run Fancy and Bunny, a little shop that sells knickknacks. I'm actually a tailor, though. If you just bring me the materials, I can stitch together whatever you like. <laughs> now don't forget, Virginia Yeats is this town's number one tailor. Because you're the only one. I'm especially busy from midnight to early morning, so you'd better not come knocking during that time. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll make a note of that. Hmm. Sounds fishy. Her font. Did you see the way her text came up? It was all like fancy and stuff. Oh, you've got multiple doors. Okay. Wait, we don't actually have a quest right now. I'm just sort of wandering. Shrine missions? 
Side quests? Maybe let's talk to Elizabeth then. Hey, saw your house. Thanks, I guess. How do you do? Allow me to reintroduce myself. I work in residential affairs division at Town Hall. I have an older brother named William. He's a rather funny fellow. <laughs> if you would. I suppose that's it for now. I do hope you take a liking to me and Rainy Woods. Take a picture of you. Next to the potted red geraniums. Not weird at all. Just randomly taking photos of people. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Oh, now you look like a lass who enjoys a good bevy. I'm Michelle O'Reilly, the bartender here at 1977. Huh? Feel free to pop in whenever you have fancy getting fluttered. Fluttered. Like. Shaken. Yeah, girl. Okay. Awesome. It is... It's like 5 p.m. now. It's almost day... It's almost nighttime, actually, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe that's why there's nobody here? It looks like everybody has their individual schedules. Right now, I'm kind of curious about that Virginia lady who's like, Don't come visit me! during midnight to early morning, okay? There's gotta be some secrets over there. Let's pick up all this stuff. <laughs> Mine now. <laughs> what am I- What is happening? Where are the quests? Are there quests? Do you just want me to wander around aimlessly? For a bit? Learn about our townsfolks? Strictly private, no access. Rita. Who is Rita? Where is Rita? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Your face is a little bit close. Miss Hayward, do you have a moment? Seriously? Whoa, where did you come from? It'll be a full moon tonight. So I must ask you to refrain from going outside. Huh? It's still a bit too early for you. Once the moon begins to rise, I must ask you to return home quickly and stay indoors. And why exactly do I have to do that? Because I've asked you nicely is why. You mustn't go outside at night. If you would. It's for your own good. Okay, I won't go out tonight. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is this a cooking champion? Is that a walk? Hmm, what's this? One of the land's six legendary heroes of old. May their name be praised eternal. Versed in the secrets of every ingredient scattered across this plain, she had the power to satisfy any stomach. Let all remember the name, Eri Tsugawa, the goddess of gourmet. It is said that she might have carried with her the mystical Dagda's cauldron of ancient Celtic mythology. Well, did she or didn't she? Make up your mind already. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. She looks beautiful, so I might as well snap a shot of her. The goddess of gourmet. <laughs> Naomi's kind of a... Naomi's kind of an asshole, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Everyone here seems so nice, but she's like, I don't trust any of you. Well, mainly only to that Elizabeth lady. Pretty much it. Okay, when does evening start? It's 6.30 already. First of all, I definitely want to check out that Virginia lady's place. She seems so fishy. Heck yeah. I <laughs> got it through the wall. Hey! Hello there, little bunny. What does that mean? Oh, number four. Bunnies. Okay. Wait, what? Were there multiple? Can I get more than one in a picture? It might be kind of hard. Can't go into Rita's house. What is that checklist? And don't go out tonight. Yeah, sure I won't. Sure I won't. Alright. Yo, this town 
Happiest town in the world. Why is nobody welcoming me besides where Elizabeth? Oh, it's getting dark. Visibly. How do you do? I see you already started using Flamingo, Miss Hayward. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Isn't it just wonderful how we can connect with people around the world through pictures now? Teehee! <laughs> Speaking of which... Seems like you're really happy out here in the sticks, huh? Oh, but of course! After all, this is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world! Yeah, but it really seems like you've got the most bliss out of anyone here. <laughs> Teehee! Thank you, Miss Hayward! It is lovely to hear you say that! I'm being sarcastic, doesn't she get it? Incidentally, Miss Hayward, I have a job for you, since you're such a skilled photographer. A job? As in the kind that can earn me money? Right. Oh yes, of course. A penny between keeps friendships keen. Uh, I've never heard of that saying before. <laughs> well, it was my brother that coined it, if you'll excuse the pun. Do remember it though, it could serve you well. Now then, give me the freaking quest already. Participate in town's PR activities. What, you want me to go around taking pictures of the town or something? Bingo! We want everyone around the globe to learn about the happiest town in the world. I'd like you to take a picture of the town and upload it to Flamingo. Okay, from what sort of angle? How about one that can give people a proper view of the entire town? You should be able to look down on everything if you go up to the hill beyond the church. You'll know when you reach the spot when you see the bench near the summit. Beyond the church. Okay. That kind of feels like... See ya. Are you trying to drive me away from town? The beautiful town of Rainy Woods. Okay, so I did read before on the reviews that you can't do multiple quests at the same time. So if you commit to doing the side quest, even if we come across other quest stuff, it's not going to activate. The only thing we can do is this thing. So can I save it for later then? Yeah, that's what it's explaining here. When you discover a new quest while working on an existing quest, a prompt will allow you to continue your current quest or pause it and start the new one. You can't do them at the same time. But you can switch between them, is what they're saying. Okay. Grocery and butcher shop. <laughs> what was that? Hello? Ooh, you've got a mechanical arm, mister. How's life treating you? That's a big font. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. Nice to meet you. I'm Thomas Berryman, manager of butcher and grocery. Okay, do you mind talking at a normal volume? <laughs> Sorry, that's never been my forte. Ha ha ha. Cool arm. So, you're a butcher and a grocer? Whoa. Martha Berryman. Greetings. We haven't met before, have we? I'm Thomas Berryman's wife, Martha Berryman. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? <laughs> Wait, you just left me? You're not gonna man your shop? It's 8 p.m. Maybe they're going home. Probably, right? It's the bar. Why aren't you going home, lady? And you're still shaken. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Waiting for that clock. Oh, hey, hi. Mushroom and Evans. Oh, do you have, like, shroomy food here? Bruno Evans. Hello there. Oh, why don't believe I've met you before. My name is Bruno Evans. I run a cafe called Mushroom and Evans. Good grief. I serve some pretty delicious dishes here. So I do hope you'll drop in at some point. Yeah. Hmm. Cafe with delicious food. All right, I'll check it out sometime. How do I eat at your place? Would you like to let me eat at your place? The doors are so low. Like, it feels like... Oh my freaking god. Unless if Naomi is like two meters tall or something. It seems like the ceilings are so low here. Oops. Oh. Wow, there's so much. English foods. Let's chat. Hi there. Hi there. Have you gone around and said hello to everyone? 
Most of us are pretty friendly, so don't be shy. Yeah, it's quite... The girl told me not to go outside at night. That just makes me want to do it even more. Ch whatever. Time to check out the town. Yeah! Snoop around town square. Alright, I'll talk to you later, Bruno. I just saw Elizabeth go home. You see, she wheeled by. Oh my goodness, these cutscenes are really rough. What the? There's cats and dogs all over the place. Where'd all the people go? <gasps> there. No way. Is is this the town's big secret? That's right. This town's been hiding a rather beastly secret. This is one hell of a scoop. Oh no. Uh, Elizabeth? Oh. H hold on! Hey, lady! Why are you the only one who's still normal? Follow her? Oh, but there's so many kitties here! Urgent quest. As you make your way through the story, you'll sometimes come across urgent quests. Don't get distracted before you run out of time. Oh, but this. So the secret is that everybody here is actually a dog or a cat? What? Oh my god, that's awesome! Let me play with the kitties, please. There's a vet clinic here. Well, let's go, let's go! Before she goes home. This way? Oh my god. Naomi gets tired so easily. We have to let her recover a little bit first, I think. That's what we're trying to do here. Lady! Oh god. It looks like there's something up on that church bell's tower. Maybe it's related to what's happening? I should check it out, then send a report back to Morning Bell if I find anything. But how the hell am I gonna get up there? Hey lady, can I borrow your wheelchair? <laughs> Wait. All right, all right, I'll follow you. No time to worry about the church bells. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Oh no, it's... It's... Ah, oh, it's raining! It's raining! Oh no! Yo, lady. It's raining. Don't you want to go home? Where... Oh, the witch's forest. Are you the witch? Are you the witch? Oh my god, we run slower than a lady in a wheelchair in the rain. <laughs> Jeez, what's her rush? Where did she go? Witch house pharmacy. Ugh. Goddamn hellhole. <laughs> Do you realize what you just stepped into, sweetheart? People round here call this place the witch's house. The, the witch's house? Mum, da da da! Not the kind of witch I was expecting. I'm Pauline Atwood. 
but everyone calls me the Woodland Witch. <laughs> Where's Elizabeth? What's up? So, what can I do for you? Blah! You smell like booze. Hey, tell me where it's against the rules to get absolutely blattered in the comfort of your own home. Hehehehe. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you're right. And who might you be, sweetheart? What's got you barging into my home at this time of night for? Oh, right. Hey, Granny, did you see a girl named Elizabeth around here? She's a quiet type with red hair who rides around in this crazy high-tech wheelchair. Hey, have you seen a girl named Elizabeth? <laughs> She, like, she can see that, right? But she might know her just because everyone knows everybody else in this town. And why exactly are you looking for a girl named Elizabeth? <laughs> the way that a girl named Elizabeth, as opposed to just Elizabeth. I thought she was gonna take me somewhere, but then I suddenly lost track of her. And all the other townspeople turned into... Ah! <gasps> That's right! Something weird's happening in Rainy Woods right now! What's going on? Do they have some sort of device set up that makes people hallucinate? Or is it the result of some human experiment? It couldn't possibly be real magic, right? What on earth are you talking about, sweetheart? Um, uh, well, anyway, I just need to find a way to get to the top of the church bell tower. I'm sure I'll be able to solve this mystery as long as I can get to what's up there. That's what my intuition as a pro photographer is telling me. Uh, I don't follow, but it looks to me like you've got a case of the cully wobbles. Huh? Well, see, I have this big debt and... Hmm. I think I've got just the thing for you. Hee hee hee. If you wish to solve all your problems, go and gather these things for me. If you can gather all of them before time runs out, I'll make a very special concoction for you. A special concoction? <laughs> a concoction that'll make you feel like you could fly right up to the heavens. So it'll get me really high? <laughs> Metaphorically? Or literally? What I mean is, I'm sure it'll take you right where you need to go. Yeah, baby. Hell yeah, alright, you sold me. I'll run your little errand for you. No. So simple-minded. That's one of my strengths. So, what do I need to go and get? Three helpings of catnip and one tear fruit. Yeah. That's it? This'll be easy. What are you talking about, Naomi? I don't know where those things are. <laughs> oh, and a picture of the mural from the area. Picture of the mural? You said you're a pro photographer, didn't you? That mural contains a secret recipe I need to create the concoction. Instead of taking notes, I'd prefer it if you just brought me a photo. Seriously? Whoa, cool. This is just like an RPG. Hee 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 hee. Okay. I just memorized all the things you want me to bring back. Oh, and one last thing. This part's very important, sweetheart. You've got a time limit on all this until 8 a.m. and not a tick past it. I can only create the concoction tonight when the moon's surging with power. Creating the concoction at any other time will only serve to weaken its power. So I don't want to see any dilly-dallying. Bring me what I need at once. Yeah. Leave it to me, Granny. I'll be back before you know it. And here's a little parting gift. I get the feeling you're gonna become one of my best customers. Vitality pills. They're bitter and taste like crap, but can restore a ton of health. Insomniac extract. For nights when I can't afford to sleep. Oh, I might get tired and go to sleep automatically. Well, then what are we waiting for? Tear fruit. And catnip. Wait, is everyone back to normal now? Because it feels like... What time is it now? Midnight. Okay, let's hurry up then. Ooh, look! Red squirrel. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 whoa. The camera's taking me all over the place. Which one is the closest one? That would be important to... Oh, here's the map. Um... Well, we gotta get all of them anyway, right? Okay. Focus on one at a time. I've got until 8 a.m. And that's really not so much time considering how it's already 1 a.m. 
You know, this is, um, <laughs> so far, it's hilarious, sometimes unintentionally. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You get the sense there's a lot of heart in this. But it's still sometimes, like, just unintentionally funny. <laughs> So can I like- I don't think I can hop over the fences. Oh my god, that's awful. I gotta just wrap around, really? Yeah, I'll go back in town and I'll run back. I've got the mural. And now I need some tear fruit and catnip. So I'm looking at my, um, my little numbers at the top there. It looks like I'm hungry. 47 out of 100. Is that hungry? And then something is 95%. Something. Whatever that is. Holy crap, it's 2 a.m. already. It is 2 a.m. already. Come on. I'm gonna find a way around the fences and all that, too. Catnip. Three. I got three. Awesome. Mint seed. There's something green up there. Where are all the kitties? There's no kitties here. Cats and dogs. How could nobody have realized this secret in town? It's so... big. Does this town never get visitors? Hello, little squirrel. Oh no, we gotta find the opening. Around here? No. Oh no. 3 a.m. Button mushroom. Aww. Nothing scary here, hopefully. Alright. Deliver the picture of the mural and the concoction ingredients to Pauline. You got it. No. Come on, lady. No? Hey, what about Elizabeth, though? Where did she go? Pauline! Were you able to get everything I asked for, sweetheart? Oh, three helpings of catnip and one tear fruit. And you even managed to snap one shot of that mural. You're more skilled than I took you for, sweetheart. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Now I can finally prepare that secret concoction. <laughs> one sip, and all your worries will be whisked away. I'm glad it was worth gathering up all that crap. Oh, it was worth it all, right? You find me the ingredients, and I make you the concoctions. I'm digging this cushy. You roll mine, I roll yours deal we've got going here. Good luck with the concocting, then. This is sketchy. <laughs> In vino veritas. In vino veritas. El chojobri nshap pin estuel. El iro ringbeck omehapai. In vino veritas. In vino veritas. Ignoramus at Ignorabimus. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. Come on. Bodman Potion. A special potion concocted by the Woodland Witch. It's got a weird smell that sort of prickles my nose, but it'll make me a lot more agile tomorrow. Spent all night running all over the place, and I just fell asleep. Went back in town. What the? E everyone's back to normal. Why, good morning. Uh, Lovely day, innit? Uh, <sighs> Scary lady. Elizabeth. That's right. The church's bell tower. The witch's concoction 
is supposed to make me higher than a kite. Time to give this thing a try. Oh my god. <laughs> You're higher than a kite, all right. <laughs> Time. Oh! Cat's eye sensibility. Proof that you've acquired the sensibility of a cat allows you to transform into a cat whenever you want. Whenever you want. Oh. My God. Are you kidding me? Really? <gasps> Elizabeth. Yo, she's gone. She's gone. Oh, but I think I walk faster like this. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. But I can't really take photos, can I? I can pick up random stuff. Oh, I can look at it as a cat. A cat's perspective. All right. All right, let's check out what this church bell is and we'll end off. Huh? Animal vision. I can climb up. There are claw marks on the buildings. Hi! We did it! Oh, <gasps> well, there's a whole bunch of people here. Hey, it's Elizabeth's husband. What? You think you're all too good to play with a cat? We are truly blessed. During Sunday church? Huh? Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. Okay. Ooh, don't give up, skeleton. Rather be forgotten than remembered for giving in. Hey, can I say hi to the fellow... Uh... Do you, do you, would you like to attack it? Oh! I wasn't being serious, man. Holy crap. Okay, anyway, so the church is here. Check out the... I'm looking for the claw marks, right? In this... Vision mode? Here we go. Oh. My god. This is amazing. Do I have to be in the mode to activate that? Oh. <laughs> the way it climbed up. Fell down. What? Oh, oh. Okay, so my next report's gonna be a real doozy, huh? Damn hell hole. Afterwards, Naomi returned to the Woodland Witch and told her what had happened. But the witch just feigned ignorance, claiming her concoction was just a type of natural sedative, the dodgy kind of substance that has somehow skirted the definition of legal. She said she only made it up because Naomi looked so distressed. And it certainly wasn't capable of doing anything as preposterous as turning a person into an animal. Really? According to Pauline, when Naomi saw the townspeople turning into animals, it was actually a hallucination 
caused by the stress of moving to a brand new place. Really? Naturally, Naomi's client wouldn't be happy to receive such a report. And so it seemed Naomi would not be free of her debts any time soon. Keep your chin up, Naomi. <laughs> wow. The good life, everybody. <laughs> this is just the opening welcome screen here. Wow. What an opener, huh? That was bizarre. <laughs> this whole story, like, where are we even going with this? I have no clue. Weird? but also kind of charming in its own little way. I kind of like it. Yeah, but of course you can tell that it's um, technically maybe not the greatest. Like for example, the cutscenes that we saw, which they just did not look good. And little things here and there, like not having a volume slider. Like the, for the dialogue, uh, can I show you here? Yeah, so there's music and sound, but you couldn't adjust the dialogue and the dialogue was consistently just a little bit too quiet, I feel like. But either way, I mean, I enjoyed what I saw here, though. I feel like I'm sure it looks kind of appealing right now because we're just in the beginning and we haven't really dug into, like, side quests and other new mechanics and all that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I could have spent an hour doing worse things and that was pretty enjoyable. Entertaining. Very entertaining. Feel free to let me know what you thought about the game in the comments and uh, this was Wellens with the first look of The Good Life. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!